this, family. So let's look at some solutions. Jamil, hey, what's your name, Ben, bro? What's your name? Delray? Okay, I got you, Delray. Delray and Jamil. Watch this, fam. So here's some, so what we telling our people is if the Lord calling out and you don't want to hear him, the Lord say when your trouble come, ain't no, ain't no asking for help now because I already tried to help you. But here's the solution. Romans 12 and 2. Watch this. Bring it out. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Watch what the Bible says we got to do, man. It's the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. Bring it out. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed uh -huh. by the renewing of your mind. The Bible says we have to be transformed in our minds, okay? So what does that mean for us? That means whenever we go through some low situations, but once we realize this happened to our people and the Bible explained it, we got to change our minds now. Now we got to come out of that stuff. We got to put the drugs inside, right. right? We got to put the whoremongering alone, right? We got to put the weed, fentanyl bottles. We got to put that stuff away, okay? Now, here's what else we got to do. We got to put away the fake religion. That's you right. understand me, bro? Now I got your attention. Bring it now out. we finna talk about it. Psalms 135. Yes, that thing on your neck, fam, that's false. Bring it out. I got you. Everybody says it's symbolic. But remember. My own understanding. Uh, say it again. My own understanding. Your own understanding. All praise. Hold this. Go to uh, Proverbs 3 and 5. And then we go right back to Psalms. Watch this, big bro. Watch this, big bro. You believe in this Bible, right? Somewhat. So wait, that's supposed to. Come on, bro. You see that you see the you see the falsehoods we living under? I don't be past the hair for yourself, right. but give understanding. You know, you might say something that might enlighten you. Right, you know? so well, what you're going into, uh, in parts you're right. The Bible says we do have to be taught, okay? We can't be on our own understanding. Right? And like the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Trust in the Lord. How does the Lord speak to us, Del Rey? You said he gives always, us signs? Always, always. Hey, you know what? Hey, you know what? You halfway right, but you don't know how you write. I'm going to show you the signs that he gives us, but keep reading. And lean not unto thine own understanding. Both of y'all, don't lean on your own heart. No, that's what you I'm understand? Saying. Don't that's lean on your own mind. That's why I'm right here, right? Right, all praise. Now hear what we said, fam. All right, read. Verse 6. Uh -huh. In all thy ways, In acknowledge everything you do. Acknowledge them. Don't put your own symbols on meanings. Don't put your own meaning in everything else. And everything lean on the Lord. This is how the Lord speaks to us. Oh, can I ask you one thing? Okay. Go ahead. I'm, okay, I'll pray. Big bro, come here outside, fam. You know what hollow means, right? Yes, sir. Hollow means nothing, right? Yeah, uh hollow. -huh. Okay. It's a hollow be thy name. So nothing be thy name. Come on the Bible, man. Oh, that's <laughs> right. No, that's right so. They, they changed the definitions over time. I'm going to show you that one. But uh, let's. Matter of fact, let's answer this question, then we coming right back. Hey, stay with me, Jamil. Get, uh, get that in Matthew 6. No, 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 no. Get that in Leviticus 20, verse 26. Leviticus 20, verse 26. Hallowed, hallowed, in this context, it's going into separate, sacred, okay? Watch this. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 26. Read. And ye shall be holy unto me. Uh-huh. He said, he said, be holy to him, read. For I, the Lord, am holy. He's holy. And have severed you from the other people. And he severed us from other people. So when it's talking about being hollow, it's going into being severed, separated, different, sacred. It's not, it don't mean nothing. The Lord said, you mean, so hold on. The Lord said, we gods on earth, but he going to call himself nothing? Oh, one thing is, you know, he told us in the beginning, he said, I built you in the end of the breakfast. Thank you. So why would, so why would he call like himself a, nothing? No, I'm just saying, I mean. That don't, it don't mean, it don't, that don't mean nothing, nothing, There's nothing that adds up. Right, so yeah. now, hey, so now let's get back into it. You mind Give me, a picture, but I am, you can right? take all the pictures you need. Right. Now, go, uh, go back to uh, yeah. song. Yeah. Right. Right. Watch this, y'all. Oh. Psalms 135, verse 15. 
Hey, so remember, the, the, the solution is we have to change our minds, right? Remember, Jamil, you was here earlier. Our minds have been brought so low, we gotta escape to drugs to get it to get a relief, right? Some of our people go into these these garbage churches to get a relief. These churches ain't teaching us nothing. Okay? Watch this, read. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 135, verse 15. Read. Now the idols of the heathen are silver and gold. The idols of the heathens are silver and gold. God don't deal with heathens. Okay? Read. Oh, the work. Oh, the, hear what it's saying, brother. The work of the man's hand. The work of what? The man's hand. Who made that? Did, did the Lord make that? Who made that? Some man. It said what? The work of the man's hand. It said the work of man's hands. Read. They have mouths, but they speak not. So on that cross, you got a little, you got a little a, a carving of, of what they call Jesus Christ on that cross, right? Now watch this. You ripped them off, but still, but still, hear what we saying, brother. Hey, look, look, hear what we saying. You said you gotta be taught. Hey, if you gotta be taught, hear what we saying, big bro, big bro. I'm here for you. Stop. Hey, don't argue with me, bro. Just hear the Bible. Just hear. It. Just listen. Just listen. Great don't man. go to listen. Great. See, they don't want to hear the word. They don't want to hear the word. Real. Eyes have they, but they see not. They got eyes, but they don't see nothing. They can't tell you how to get out of your condition. Real. They have ears, but they hear not. They have ears, but they can't hear a thing. Real. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. They're, they're not living. They're just carvings of wood, silver, gold, platinum, rose gold, whatever they use to make it now. It's just a carving. Read. That they, that they that make them are like unto them. It says the people that make them are just like them. Meaning what? They have no life in them. They have no spiritual understanding. That's what it's talking about, read. So is everyone that trusted in so them. So is everybody that wear them. So the brother, the brother they want to hear that. You understand? That's why we don't. That's why we don't rely on crosses. Let's see. Hey, you know who Peter is, right? You know who Peter is in the Bible? Peter, yeah. Who is Peter? He was one disciple. Peter was one of the disciples that was under Christ, right? Let's look at what Peter called the cross. Go to Acts five. Big bro, big bro, hear what we saying, man? Come on, T. We talking? You don't believe in the Bible? So come on. Hey, bro, this is gonna be the best news you hear all day. What's five minutes of your day compared to the rest of your life? Come on, T. Bring it out. Come on, pull up on us, man. We 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 here for you. Lay it on. Come on, bro. Read. Hey, so what we going over right now, because some of our people like to wear crosses around their neck. Some of them get tattoos of crosses, right? We're telling our people the cross is nothing more than a, a symbol of death, right? That at, at the time uh, when Christ was living around the Romans, right? That was just a form of capital punishment. Right. That was no different than us getting the electric chair right. or us being lethal injections, right? Read this, because watch, you know Peter is, right? Peter, uh, he was a disciple under Christ, right? Watch this, read. Acts 5 and 29. It's the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Read. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, Peter answered and said, what? We ought to obey God rather than men. We got to obey God. Read. Then God, the God of our fathers, the raised God up Jesus. of our fathers. Come on, bro. You said you're trying to hear the word. Hey, the Bible said the God of our fathers. He didn't say of all nations. He said, our fathers, read. The God of our fathers, read. Raised up Jesus. Raised up Christ, go ahead. Whom ye hanged on a tree. Who he did what? Who ye slew and hanged on a tree. Why didn't Peter say the Holy Cross? Why didn't Peter say the, the, uh, the honored, the hallowed cross? He said, it's a tree. Peter said, it's nothing more than a tree. It was two carved pieces of wood. But our people bowing down to wood. Right. We bowing down to wood. Read what Peter said again. Verse 29. Come on. Then, no, 30. Verse 30. The God of our fathers uh -huh. raised up Jesus, uh -huh. whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Whom we hung, who they hung on a tree. You see how Peter worded that thing? Who else used to get slung, uh, slew and hung from trees? Come on, bro. Christ died a black man's death. That's right. That's a black 
man. Let me show you something else, but now we gotta get into it for real. Hey, this is who they said Christ was, right? This is who they say Christ is. You see these pictures? This is who they say Jesus is, right? Let's look at the Bible. Come on, guys. It's the book of Revelation, chapter one and verse one. Oh, we can stay here, right? Come on. Revelation one and one. Come on. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. Jump to verse 10. Verse 10. Come on. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day uh -huh. and heard behind me a great voice. It says he heard a great voice. He heard somebody that sounded like they had authority. He didn't hear no Joel Osteen. Well, the Lord loves right. you. You just got to sow a seed that the Lord got you. No, he didn't hear that. He heard a man talking like how we talking. Yeah. Read. As of a trumpet. As a trumpet. That voice was loud. Trumpet. Name it. You ever heard a quiet trumpet? Come on now. Read. Say, I am Alpha uh -huh. and Omega. Uh -huh. The first and the last. Come on. And what thou seest. What you see. Write it in a book. So now he told them, what you see, write it down so the people can know. Mm. Go to first, verse 14. Verse 14. 13. Verse 13. Read. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, uh -huh. one like unto the Son of Man. One that looked like Christ. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. He had a garment that covered everything except his feet. Read. And girt about the pack. And he had a, uh, like a, like a, like a, a championship belt around his stomach line. Read. With a golden girdle. Uh huh. His uh, head uh, and his hairs were white like wool. His head, meaning on top of his head, and his hairs, his beard was white like wool. What what is the, what is a simile? A simile is a comparison, brother. Right? It uses the words what you has. It's a comparison, man. Okay? So he said he, it was white and it looked like wool. You understand? Why did he compare it to wool? There you go. That's the texture. All right? Read. As white as snow. And it was real white. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was red. Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet looked like brass. What color is brass? Brass is brown. You understand? So not only did it look brown, read. As if they burned in a furnace. And now it looked like it got burned. If I take anything and I burn it, what color it come out? No, what color it come out? It come out black. That's right. So who the hell is this? Look. If it say Christ came out looking burned, who is this? Teach. That's the falsehood. That's Go right. to 2 Corinthians now. 2 Corinthians 11. Because remember, I told you, we got to change our mind from these false religions, right? Because remember, right, in case you never knew, right? When they brought us the, the, uh, the new, a different description of Christ, they also brought us a different teaching. Read. It's the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse 3. But I fear, at least by any means, uh -huh. as the serpent beguiled Eve the through same, his subtlety. Through his subtlety. The same way that the, that the serpent tricked Eve in the garden. Read. So your minds should be corrupted uh -huh. from the simplicity that is in Christ. That's the right. same way our people will be deceived into believing another Christ. Read. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. So remember, the description of Christ said he looked more like this. Not exactly like this, but more like this than this, right? So it says, that person that comes preaching another Jesus, who we have not preached. The apostles never preached this. Paul never preached this. Because at that time, everybody knew. Matter of fact, they still, um, uh, uh, what you call that thing in Russia, where uh, Vladimir Putin, where he lives with the, I guess it's like the equivalent of the White House, right? The Russian uh, Capitol building, Kremlin. they still, say it again? The Kremlin? The Kremlin. They still have the black images from way back then. They still got those hanging up. Read. Or if you receive another spirit. So with that new Christ came a new spirit. So here's the spirit. Look at this. Where is that? I got to show you, bro. Where is that? I think it's right, right. Where, where they burning them at? Right here. Hey, look at this one right here, bro. You see what this dude doing holding up the cross while he burning my man at the stake? You understand? 
This is the new spirit that came with Christ. That's why, that's why Christianity, as we, as our people know it, is the bloodiest religion in the world. Right. They killed our people to make them worship this. If our people did not bow down to this, they got burned. Right. Right. They took our women that was pregnant, they, they cut open their womb, and they took the baby out and they killed the baby. What? Look, it's right here. It's right here. Look, because we did the research. It's right here. That's right. You see, you see they got the baby by the ankles, right? Like they finna swing a golf club. You understand? That's what we're talking about. So this is the new doctrine that came with this new Christ. Bring it out. Read. Verse 4. Uh -huh. For he that come and preacheth another Jesus, uh -huh. but we have not preached. Uh -huh. Or if you receive another spirit, which we have not received. So our people were forced to receive this spirit. The, the only time, the only time the killing of our people stopped is when we accepted this. We was forced to take this. You understand? The slaves on Sundays, they was giving, they said, if you want to break on Sunday, you got to go worship this. That's why our people uh, go to church on Sunday. That's why our people bow down to this on Sunday. Good. Free. For another gospel. Come on. Which ye have yeah, not accepted. Right, which we have not accepted. Read. Ye might well bear witness with him. So now we were forced to bear witness with him. You understand? So that's why we here showing our people, bro. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. in